Any registered voter who has not exercised their right to vote in the past two consecutive general elections by law will be canceled. The cancellations by law, you have to send notice to each individual that they have not participated in the last two elections, and as a result thereof, they are going to be canceled. After notices are sent out, VI Code Title 18, Section 116 states that voters' registration will be canceled at the expiration of 30 days, unless... ...to come in and update their registration or re-register. But St. Thomas St. John Elections Board Chair Arturo Watlington says the cancellations come at a cost to the election system since they have to pay for those notices. It is a cost because you have to personally contact each individual voter. You have to pay for each letter, and I think it has to be certified, each certified letter that you send out. Originally, when I was a senator, you had to publish their names in the paper. So even the cost of just canceling voters has a financial impact on the election system. Watlington couldn't estimate how much it cost the election system. However, Acting Deputy Supervisor Sharon Benjamin told News 2 thousands of voters are being canceled and that they would have a better idea on that number by the end of the month. By law, cancellation notices are supposed to be sent out within 120 days after the general election, which would have been in March. For News 2, I'm Erica Bivens.